Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's take uh, let's take a look at some negatives here. <clears throat> we'll have uh, let's go with uh, negative x squared y and to the fourth. And we'll multiply that by 3x to the third, y to the third, and then to the second. All right, so uh, pretty much the same thing we always do. Mentally, we're going to add a 1 in front of that x and a 1 in front of that y just to uh, simplify things. Or add a 1 up there mentally. You can write it, of course, if it makes it easier for you. I'll we'll add a 1 in front of this. So, um, not to confuse the matter too much, we get um, x to the 8th, negative x to the 8th, and y to the 4th times uh, 2 to the 3rd, or 3 to the 3rd is 9. 3 times 2 is 6, 9x, uh, and then y, 3 times 2, is 6. We're going to combine like terms, multiply all of this together, so we're actually going to get a 9x to the 14th, and y to the 10th. And that is our answer. And thank you. And just to clarify, uh, 3 to the second power is 9. 3 to the second power is 9. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Wolfram Alpha, see what it does with that equation. And let's make sure I put a negative in front of that because that's what I said in the video. And we'll see what happens. All right, nine, nine to the fourteenth, nine x to the fourteenth, y to the tenth. The negatives are just essentially wiped out. So um, the result, in fact, is positive, and we get that cool Grand Canyon contour 3D plot thing with that uh, particular uh, with that particular equation. So uh, don't be afraid. Play with uh, play with the equations. Now let's see if anything changes if we get rid of that negative sign. Don't think anything will change, but won't know until we try, right? Nope, didn't change a thing. The negative is going to it's going to produce the same plot, and there it is. Okay, thanks for watching and. Uh, Happy computing.